fraction of integers in crt class 6 exercise 6.3 page 101 subtraction of integers let us find minus 4 plus minus 3 here we have two negative integers when we add the two negative integers we get minus 7 now let's start from minus 4 and to add negative 3, we move 3 units to the left of the starting point. So we reach minus 7. This can also be written as minus 4 minus plus 3 is equal to minus 7. Now adding a negative integer is the same as subtracting its additive inverse that is opposite now let us find 5 minus 4 we start from 5 and to add negative 4 we move 4 units to the left of the starting point on the number line we move to the left to subtract a negative integer. We reach 1. So 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. We can also say that 5 minus 4 is equal to 5 plus additive inverse of 4, which is equal to 5 plus negative 4, which is equal to 1. Adding a negative integer is the same as subtracting its additive inverse. Let us now find 5 minus minus 4. We know that the additive inverse of minus 4 is plus 4. Adding the additive inverse of minus 4 to 5 is the same as subtracting minus 4 from 5. So we write 5 minus minus 4 is equal to 5 plus additive inverse of negative 4 which is 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. To subtract negative integer 4 we start from 5 and move 4 units to the right of the starting point 5 on the number line and reach 9. So 5 minus minus 4 is equal to 9. Subtracting a negative integer is same as adding its opposite. We observe that when we subtract a negative integer, we get a greater integer. Let us now find the value of minus 5 minus minus 9 using the number line. We can say that this operation is the same as minus 5 plus plus 9 because the additive inverse of minus 9 is 9. So minus 5 minus minus 9 is equal to minus 5 plus additive inverse of minus 9 which will be equal to minus 5 plus 9 equal to 4. On the number line we move 9 steps to the right starting from negative 5. We will reach 4. So Minus 5 minus minus 9 is equal to 4. Subtraction is the process that is opposite to addition. So to subtract an integer from another integer, we add the additive inverse of the integer that is being subtracted from the other integer. To subtract an integer from another integer, we change the subtraction sign to addition sign and change the sign of the integer which is to be subtracted. Let us take a few examples. 9 minus 4. Now this will be equal to 9 plus minus sign we've changed to plus sign 
and we take the additive inverse of 4. So this comes out to be 9 plus negative 4, which on calculating is 5. Now 5 minus, minus 8 is equal to 5 plus additive inverse of minus 8, which will be equal to 5 plus 8, that is 13. Now minus 4 minus 8 is equal to minus 4 plus additive inverse of 8. So minus 4 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 12. Minus 10 minus minus 6 will be equal to minus 10 plus additive inverse of minus 6 which comes out to be equal to minus 4. Minus 32 minus minus 23 will be equal to minus 32 plus additive inverse of negative 23 which is equal to minus 32 plus 23 is equal to negative 9. Now let's evaluate 35 minus minus 50, which is equal to 35 plus additive inverse of minus 15, which is equal to 35 plus 15 is equal to 50. Minus 12 minus minus 12 will be equal to minus 12 plus additive inverse of negative 12. So this comes out to be minus 12 plus 12, which is equal to 0. 0 minus minus 18 is equal to 0 plus additive inverse of negative 18, which will be equal to 0 plus 18 is equal to 18. Now 0 minus 8 is equal to 0 plus additive inverse of 8. So this will be equal to 0 plus negative 8, which is equal to negative 8. Now, the difference between two numbers is the greater number minus lesser number. Let us find the difference between 3 and minus 11. Out of 3 and minus 11, the bigger integer is 3. So, difference will be equal to 3 minus minus 11, which is equal to 3 plus 11 is equal to 14. Minus 34 and minus 13, which is the bigger integer out of the two. Minus 13 is the bigger integer. So difference will be equal to minus 13 minus minus 34, which is equal to minus 13 plus 34, equal to 21. Now third one is difference between 0 and minus 9. 0 is the bigger integer. So the difference is 0 minus minus 9 which is equal to 0 plus 9 is equal to 9. Now let us take a problem sum. In the first round of a game, first team scored 76 points and second team scored minus 25 points. Now we have to find the difference in points scored by each team in the first round, second round and third round. So let's take round one. Now out of the two, 76 and minus 25, which is a bigger integer. 76 is the bigger integer. So the difference would be equal to 76 minus minus 25, which will be equal to 76 plus 25 equals 101 points. Now in the second round, the first team scored 264 points and the second team scored minus 360 points. Now 264 is greater than minus 360. So the difference is greater number minus lesser number. So it will be equal to 264 minus minus 360 
is equal to 264 plus 360 is equal to 624 points. And the third round, first team scores 569 points and the second team scores 400 points. Out of the two, 569 is greater than 400. So difference will be equal to 569 minus 400, which is equal to 169 points. Now first team scores 76 plus 264 plus 569, which is 909 points. The second team scores minus 25 plus minus 360 plus 400, which comes out to be 15 points. Now let's subtract minus 4 from minus 10. So which number will we write first? Minus 10. And subtract minus 4 from this. So minus 10 plus additive inverse of minus 4 will be equal to minus 10 plus 4 equals minus 6. Subtract plus 9 from minus 9. Now here from minus 9, so we write minus 9 first and we subtract plus 9 from minus 9 which will be equal to minus 9 plus additive inverse of plus 9, which is equal to minus 9 plus minus 9 is equal to minus 18. Now let's fill in the blanks with the signs greater, less than or equal to. Now minus 3 plus negative 6 dash minus 3 minus minus 6. Now let's take out the Left hand side, minus 3 plus minus 6 will be equal to minus 9. And right hand side is minus 3 plus additive inverse of minus 6, which is equal to minus 3 plus 6 is equal to 3. So, minus 9 is less than 3. So, here in A, we will be putting a less than sign. Now, minus 21 minus minus 10 dash minus 31 plus negative 11. Let's do the left hand side first. Now, minus 21 plus additive inverse of minus 10. Now, this will be equal to minus 21 plus 10 equals minus 11. And the right hand side is minus 31 plus minus 11 is equal to minus 42. Now minus 11 is greater than minus 42. So here for the blank we will be writing the greater than sign. C part minus 25 minus minus 42 dash minus 42 minus minus 25. Now minus 25 minus minus 42 will be equal to minus 25 plus additive inverse of negative 42 which equals minus 25 plus 42 which is equal to 17. Right hand side is equal to minus 42 minus minus 25 which will be equal to minus 42 plus additive inverse of minus 25 equal to minus 42 plus 25 equals minus 17. So 17 is greater than minus 17. So the fill in the blank will be greater than sign. For 6, let's find out what is minus 7 minus 8 minus Minus 25 equal to. Now minus 7 minus 8 plus additive inverse of negative 25. So this comes out to be equal to minus 7 minus 8 plus 25. And when we calculate this we get 10. 50 minus minus 40 minus minus 2 is equal to 50 plus additive inverse of negative 40, plus additive inverse of minus 2. 
On calculating this, we get 50 plus 40 plus 2, which comes out to be 92.